Hello everyone, Carolyn here and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I will be showing you the Thetmos bracelet and this was designed by at Fifth Luminizer on Instagram and she was inspired by Nyx Haley 22's Egyptian series. So for today you will need three looms or nine pin bars set up in this configuration. From your centermost pin bar you want to go up at an angle on either side then down at an angle then up at an angle and then the next pin bar will be aligned. So that's our configuration. Um, for this rendition I did use five colors repeating um, um, four colors twice. Um, you can use as many color variations as you want. There's endless possibilities with this bracelet and I'll be showing you the band placements um, as we go with this rendition. And so for our perimeter it is the um, the green medieval that you see going along the bottom. I'm pretty sure that's not the actual name of it, but <laughs> all right, so let's get started without further ado. You drop two on your pin bar, and then starting with your left, you're gonna go up at an angle, then down at an angle. Get on there, right? And then up at an angle, and that's where you're gonna pause for just a second. Then repeat the same thing on the opposite side. So up at an angle, down at an angle, and then up at an angle. And then we're going to pause there and we're going to grab our next color, which in this rendition is the um, metallic green that you see going up this, um, the sides right there. All right. And I'm going to be using metallic pink. And what you're simply going to do is go up and then you're going to create a semi triangle I guess <laughs> you're gonna go up at an angle up at an angle to the left and then forward so every time you go forward then you go up to the right at an angle up to the left at an angle and then forward and you're going to repeat that all the way up your loom and then for the right side, same thing, just mirror image. So you're going to go forward, get on there straight. And then you're going to go up at an angle, up at an angle, get a whole bunch of them forward, to the left at an angle, to the right at an angle, and then forward. And you're going to repeat that the rest of the way up your loom. And I'll be back to show you um, how to finish this step up in just a second. All right, everybody. So I've made it to the top of my loom. And to close off this section, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the right at an angle. And then down to the right at an angle. and then up to the right at an angle. And you're going to repeat that same thing, just mirror image on the opposite side. So to the right at an or excuse me, up to the left at an angle, down to the left at an angle, and then to the left at an angle again. Okay. So now we're going to go back down to the bottom of our loom and what we want to do now is get our perimeter color again and then go to the side on the left and then just go straight up. Get the, on there right. Okay, I'll fix it when I go off screen. Y'all know how I am. OCD. It's going to drive me nuts. So just continue that the rest of the way up that side and for the right side, same thing, just mirror image to the right and then forward all the way up the loom repeating that to the top okay I'm gonna finish mine and then I'll be right back all right everybody so I've made it back to the top of my loom and to close off the perimeter what we're simply going to do is put a band going across those two pegs and then we're going to just simply outline that first perimeter that we laid again all the way across 
and then same thing mirror image for the right hand side so across and then up at an angle down at an angle and then up at an angle again that's going to drop me nuts okay so that's it for that step and so now we're ready for our next band placement step and in this bracelet it is the um, blue that you see right here going along the edges okay I'm going to be using metallic purple and what we're simply going to do is we're going to create an X across the first and the second pin bar and the eighth and the ninth pin bar so on the first you're going to go up at an angle and then cross that and just repeat that same process all the way up the left side. So go to the left, then to the right, to the left again if it'll get on there, and then to the right, or to the left. So right, and then left, repeating that all the way up. And then for the right side, what we're going to do is go to the left first, and then to the right, scooting everywhere around, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, left, and to the right again. Okay, so just continue that the rest of the way up the loom. I'm going to finish mine up and I'll be right back for our next band placement step. Alright everybody, I'm back and so we're ready for our next band placement step. And in this rendition, it is the Persian navy blues that you see going up the, the sides right there. Okay, I'm going to be using the um, medieval red. And what we're going to do is work with the second and third pin bar first. We're going to go a long stretch up. Please use good quality stretchy bands for these. i fix it when I go off. It's going to drive me nuts. I'm having one of those OCD days apparently. So we're just going to continue that all the way up the loom, leaving a space in between this peg and this peg. So basically, when you lay the sideways band, you want to go up a peg, then the long side, go up a peg, and then a long stretch and then cross that with a small stretch okay that's what you do on the left side you want to repeat that just mirror image on the right so from the um, seventh to the eighth pin bar long stretch and then a short stretch across and then you're going to go up a pin bar and a long stretch in then cross that then go up another pin bar long stretch and then cross that Okay, so just continue that the rest of the way up the loom. I'm going to finish mine up, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back, and so we're ready for our next band placement step. And in this rendition, it is the jade dual layer that you see going down that way, down the middle. Okay, and today I'm going to be using the fuchsia medieval. And we're going to repeat the same process that we just did, except we're going to start on the next peg up and just cross those. So again, going up a peg, then the long stretch, then the small stretch across, then going up a peg with the long stretch, and then a short stretch across. Okay, repeat that same thing, mirror image on the opposite side. So long stretch up, then short stretch across, long stretch up, going up a peg, and then short stretch across, and then going up a peg again, long stretch up, and then across. So just repeat that the rest of the way up the loom. I'm going to finish mine up and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back, and we're ready for our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the Liberty Blue going up right there. And we're going to be working with the third and the seventh pin bar. And what we're going to do is simply make a straight line or chain 
going all the way up the third and all the way up the seventh. So again, just a single chain if I can keep my loom straight all the way up the third and then all the way up to the seventh. And I do recommend pushing them down because we're going to be adding more bands on top of these. This is a rather band heavy bracelet. So just continue that the rest of the way up your loom. I'm going to finish mine up and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. And as you can see, I decided to change the color for my straight line. So please don't be confused. Later on, I changed it to the metallic purple. All right, so we're ready for our next man placement step. And in this one, it is the white um, on outlining the starburst. And I'm going to be using white again. And what you're simply going to do is go forward on your fourth and your sixth pin bar, and then go to the center on each side. And then from there, you're gonna start just your regular out, um, your starburst outline. So up at an angle forward, and then up at an angle again. Again, same thing, up at an angle, forward, and then forward. And this is the last time, and I'm gonna go off and finish up. So to the left at an angle, forward, and then to the left at an angle, or excuse me, right. One day I'll learn my left from my right. To the right at an angle, forward, and then to the left. So just continue that all the way up the loom. I'm going to finish mine up and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So I hope your loom looks like this all the way to the top. That's what it should look like at the top. And now we're ready to place our starburst. I'm going to be me using the medieval red again. And in this rendition, it is the um, Persian navy blue that you see going down right there. So basically we're going to um, lay the pattern for a regular starburst. So you want to go to the two o'clock and then work clockwise if it'll get on there right all the way around all right I'm just gonna fix it when I go off the screen all the way around your starburst just starting at that two o'clock position and when you get that one done go to the next one and again start at the two o'clock position ah, la, la, and just work your way around the starburst placing those bands all the way around Okay, so just continue that up the loom starting at the two o'clock position and then working your way clockwise for the remaining starbursts. I'm gonna go off, finish mine up, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, and I'm back, and we're ready for our next band placement step, which in this rendition is the metallic green going up along right there on both sides. Okay, and what we're simply going to do is place a zigzag all the way up the loom across the third and the fourth pin bars just working your way up simple zigzag on that right okay so continuing that up the left side and then for the right side same thing just mirror image so we're going to create our zigzag going to the right first and then to the left and then just alternating the zigzags back and forth, working our way up the loom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, if they'll lay right. <laughs> All right, last one, and then I'm gonna go off, finish this up, and I'll be right back. So just continue that up your loom, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so I hope your loom looks like this all the way to the top. And now we can go ahead and spin it around and we are ready to place our capping bands and begin looming. I'm going to be using my original border, which is the um, Fuchsia Persian, and you wanna place a cap band on each one of your bottom pegs. So nine cap bands total. I'd like to do the triple cap, however you prefer to do it, whether it be on your hook or with your finger, just whatever's easier for you. See if I can just smack them on there real quick so we can get to looming. Two and three, get on there. Almost 
almost done, guys. Ah, it won't stay. Stay. There we go. Alright. Last band placement. Get on there. Okay. So now we are ready for our fun. We are going to be looming the zigzags first. So we're going to be working with the third and the fourth, the sixth and the seventh pin bar. What you want to do is go into the fourth pin bar, grab that zigzag band, and we're looping all the zigzags back upon themselves. So working a simple zigzag all the way up. Do a few on each side with you. Just looming them back to their corresponding home post all the way up to the loom. All right, continue that for your left side. For your right side, you're going to go in, grab it, and bring it back to their corresponding home post all the way up. Easy peasy. And you know what, guys? I think I forgot to put this um, capping bands on my starburst, and I did. So we'll do that. I'll finish, or I'll add that when I go off and finish up the zigzags. But you want to put a capping band at the center of each of or uh, the center of each of your starbursts there 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 okay so just finish that up add those capping bands and I'll be right back for our next looming step be right back all right everybody I'm back and I hope your loom looks like that and you added the capping bands for the starburst sorry I forgot about those and that's gonna be our next looming step is our starburst so we're gonna go in and grab the topmost band and just pull everything back to their corresponding home post just working your way around the starburst pulling everything back to their corresponding home post and then you go up to your next starburst and you begin that process again just looping everything back to their home post all the way around all right I'm gonna show you one more time and then I'm gonna go off and finish this up this is a fairly basic step but for those who just started looming I want to film enough for you to understand what you need to do so just again looping everything back to their corresponding home post okay easy peasy guys all right so just finish that the rest of the way up and I'll be right back with our next step. Be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. And so we're ready for our next looming step. And what we're going to do is loop the perimeters for the starburst. So you're gonna go in, grab your corresponding color for whatever color your starburst outline is, and then just close up the starburst, working the left side first and going back in to the right and doing the same thing, just mirror image, working every band back to their corresponding home post all the way up the loom cinching all those bands closed okay last time go in grab the topmost band bring it to the left to close that one up go forward and then go to the right then go back down to the center grab that band pull it to the right go in forward and then to the left and so just continue that the rest of the way up to the loom I'm gonna finish mine up and I'll be right back all right everybody I'm back and so we're now we're ready for our next looming step and we're going to be looming the straight chain on the third and the seventh pin bar and what we're going to do is just go into the third pin bar grab that single chain band whatever your corresponding color is for that band placement and just loom it straight forward all the way up again another easy peasy step and then again on the seventh pin bar going in and grabbing that band and then looming all those bands forward 
Okay, I'm going to leave you here. Just continue that the rest of the way up, and I'll be back for our next step. Be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back, and so hopefully your loom looks like this thus far, and we are ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the second and the third pin bar and the seventh and the eighth pin bar. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to that um, dual layer pink, or excuse me, the medieval pink that I laid. And what we're going to do is go into the third pin bar and grab that long stretch band and loom it back to itself. Okay. So here's our first set done in our red. We want to go up to the second set of our next color, or our first set of our next color, excuse me, and grab that long band, bring it down, and then we're going to simply cross over with the secondary. Okay, then we're going to go up again. So three, one, two, three. And we're going to grab that long stretch band, pull it back down to itself, grab the short stretch, pull it back, go up another three. One, don't count the first one, sorry. One, two, three. Go in, grab that band, pull it back down to itself, and then go across. And then go up to three again. One, two, three. And then go down, and then cross it back to itself. And I've only got one more, so I'm going to finish that up with you. On that side. And now for the opposite side, we're going to do the same thing. So go up until you see your first color, or your second color, excuse me. Grab that long stretch, pull it down to itself, and then pull the sideways. Go up three, long stretch down, and across. Last one on this side, go up three, long stretch down, and then across. Alright, I'm going to finish that up, and I'll be right back with our next step. Alright everybody, so I hope your loom looks like this. And now we're ready for our next looming step. Working with those same pin bars again. This time we're going to go in to the second pin bar. Grab that long stretch band and pull it forward. And then cross that back over. Okay. And again, do the same thing. We're going to go in and grab our long stretch band and pull it forward. And then cross it into the second pin, long stretch forward, and then cross it back over. Same thing, opposite side, just mirror image. Again, long stretch forward, go back in and cross it, and go into the eighth pin bar, grab that band, long stretch forward, and then cross it, and go up to the next one, long stretch forward, and then cross it. Okay. So just continue that the rest of the way up the loom. I'm going to finish mine up and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So I hope your loom looks like this. And we are ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the first, second, eighth, and ninth pin bars, working our X's. And what we're going to do on the left hand side, always grabbing the bottom band first, is simply just cross your X's back to their corresponding home post all the way up the loom. So always grabbing your bottom band first and then crossing over with the opposite side. Okay, and then on the left hand side, again grabbing the bottom most band first. You're going to go in, grab that one, and then cross it. And then again, grabbing that bottom most band. If I can grab it. Nope, grab more than one. All right. And just loop your X's in the standard procedure for X's all the way up. Nothing fancy on this one either. Okay. So just finish that up the rest of the way for both sides, and I'll be back to show you our next step. Alright everybody, I'm back and so I hope your loom looks like this all the way to the top and we are ready for our next step. And what we're going to do is go into the centermost pin bar and grab that topmost band, which should be your perimeter color, 
and just loop those corresponding bands back to their home post, making sure not to grab that bottom most band. That's going to be for our next step if I can grab the right band. Just loom everything to the side and then straight forward all the way up. The sides will be easier because there's only one band left on each one. So again, just looming straight forward on those. I'll show you for the opposite side. You're going to go into the centermost pin bar, grab that border band, not your very bottom, but your topmost band on this side. And work your way to the side, and then just work your way all the way up the perimeter. I'm going to finish mine up and then I'll come back and show you how to finish this stuff, uh, step off at the top. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I've made it to the top of my loom and before we cross it over to the 8th and the 2nd pin bar, what we want to do is go back down to the bottom and loop the remaining bands. So what we're going to do is start in the centermost pin bar, just grab those bands and loop them back to their corresponding home post to the 2nd and the 8th pin bar. And then we're going to be working the pattern that we laid initially. Get on there. I'll go ahead and loop these to the side. A lot of tension, so be careful when you're pulling them. Okay. All right. That one popped off. Sneak on there. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we've worked our way to the second and the eighth pin bars with those last chains, what we're going to do is simply follow that chain, which is up and then diagonally, then diagonally again, and then forward, and then diagonally again, diagonally to the left this time, and then forward and repeating that all the way up that side and then for our right side we're going to go in grab that band going forward pull it forward and then diagonally to the left diagonally to the right forward if I can grab it and then diagonally to the left diagonally to the right and then forward and repeating that the rest of the way up the loom. I'm going to finish mine off and then I'll be back to show you how to close up the bracelet and we'll be done. Be right back. Alright guys, so I've made it to the top of my loom with those bands going up the second and the eighth pin bar. And so now we are ready to close it off. And what we're going to do is go into the first pin bar and grab that bottom most perimeter band and go ahead and pull that to their corresponding home post, working your way around. I'm sorry, it's taking me a little bit, but the angle's a little weird for me to loom, so just bear with me while I close it up. Just pulling each of the corresponding bands back to their um, home post, all the way around. Alright, so we've got it closed up. Now we can go in and grab our drop bands and pull them and go ahead and add our C clip. These have such a hard time getting it on there. Get them on there. Got it. Yep. Okay. So now we can pull it off the loom. And usually what I do is I just work my outer pins first and then work my way all the way up the loom to the center and then just pull it off. So I'm going to pull mine off and I'll be right back with our finished bracelet. All right, everyone. So I've gotten our bracelet off the loom and this is what it should look like. Your finished rendition. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on the Thutmose bracelet. Again, this was designed by at Fifth Luminizer on Instagram. 
Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe by hitting the little red button below. And um, if you make a rendition, please make sure to um, tag me and Fifth Luminizer on Instagram with it. And I hope you've enjoyed. Loom on, everybody. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.